In this video, we will take a look at creating a new work set and get introduced to the federated file organization system utilized for Ecosim Building Designer projects. I will start Ecosim Building Designer Connect Edition with my desktop shortcut. This is the work page in the interface. And after you've started Ecosim Building Designer, started working in, in DGN files, then the next time you open it, it will actually open to this work page. In the work page, you see these drop down lists along the top up here. This one here is to set the workspace. In this case, I'm using Ecosim examples workspace. And then you'll see a list of work sets. Now, depending on what data sets that were downloaded and installed with the application, you'll see different templates in here. And you'll notice at the bottom, there is this create work set. So I will create a new work set using this create work set option here. So in this create work set dialog box, you have the option to give it a name and a description. So we'll call this a quick start electrical. Anytime there's a description field in the software, I always fill it in give some additional information about what this is. So maybe I'll put something like for training for ABD electrical. And then the next item here is the template. Right now it's set to none, but I want to use a template to create my new work set. So I'll pick this drop down list and I'll see all the various work sets in here. And in this case, I'm using the training template US. The training template US comes with the dataset US when that's installed. Notice I also have a training template in M. The US one is in is set up in imperial units and the NM one is set up in metric units. And that NM one comes with the dataset NM if you install that one. For this electrical set of videos, I'll be using imperial system and the symbol library you'll see as you go through these videos that comes with the US based data set. So I'll choose training template US and select OK. And then that will clone that template. And now I see up here in my list of work sets that I've got the one I just created, the quick start electrical. We want to review the federated file system that we use in our Ecosim building designer projects. Basically, it just means that we separate out logical organizations of the models that we're working on in our DGN files. So DGN stands for design files. And we do this so that multiple people can work on the project at the same time. So for example, for the electrical discipline, we might break the files down floor by floor. So for the ground floor, we would have a power.dgn file, and then we might have a lighting.dgn file. Maybe there's a communications.dgn file. So whatever models are needed for a specific project, and it depends on the size of the project, how many people are working on the project, but all those would be separate DGN files. And we'll see through the course of the videos here how an electrical we register each of those files with the electrical database that runs in the background of the electrical discipline. So each of those files has an awareness of where it is in the model, whether it's the lighting file for the ground floor or for the fourth floor or for the lobby or zone one or zone two, again, depending on the type of project and how it's organized. Then each of those working models, we call them, because that's where you're doing your modeling work, are referenced in with the reference capability in the software to a discipline master.dgn file. And so we, we and so we would have an electrical discipline master.dgn file that references and brings together all those federated working models that you create for the project. 
and then each discipline master file is referenced into the project master file. And you might have different master files for different purposes. You might have one for clash detection. You might have one for rendering. You might have one uh, that's just the project master file. So you can see in this diagram that I've got here, the different disciplines might actually do it a little bit differently. You'll notice in this diagram, structural is showing that it's broken down into the whole frame model, and then the foundation model is a separate uh, DGN file. Architecture might have a typical core of a building. So maybe the, the elevator shafts and, and the stairwells, any vertical circulation might be the same throughout several floors of the model. So they might approach it in a way that they would build a typical core DGN file and just reference that same one and move it up in the Z elevation. Again, for electrical, you really want to break them out into the purpose of that electrical file uh, for lighting or power or communications. So that's the federated approach to organizing our work set. So go on to the next video where we'll create a file and then review the interface in Ecosim Building Designer Connect Edition. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.